Good morning everybody and once again welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'll be teaching you a very simple concept about SNS filter policy rule. So anytime you know these events are being broadcasted on an SNS topic and you might have a lambda function which is subscribed and receiving these events. Now for example what if uh, I want to fire a different lambda when let's say the order type was created or when the order essentially failed. All these, uh, all these events are being broadcasted on the SNS topic, right? Now, in theory, you, you'll say, Samuel, you know what? Can't I just write an if statement in the Lambda code and, and, and it will work? Yes, you can. But what I feel like is a uh, lot of other events also that are coming on the topic. Uh, you are still invoking that Lambda and checking. So you're going to pay that cost, right? So instead, use a filter policy, meaning anytime that particular rule matches, then and only then you're going to fire up that lambda function. Let me show you a very small demo on how you can do it. Uh, recently, I used it uh, in, in the company because uh, we have a topic for jobs where anytime a job is created or updated, we essentially have all these events flowing on an SNS topic. But we only wanted to fire a set a consumer based on when the job was created, not when it was updated, right? So let me show you how to essentially uh, apply the filter policy on SNS. Right back to the console. Here I'm on the SNS. I'm going to create a topic. I'm going to use the standard and I will call this as orders or you can name it anything that you like. And I'm going to click on create topic. So I have a topic where the consumer can publish events, right? Now what I want to do is I want to add a subscriber and I'm going to show you how you can add the filter rule. Okay. So you can click on create subscription. And then uh, over here on the protocol, you can select AWS Lambda, which is uh, what we want to invoke. And then you want to copy the ARN for the Lambda function, which I will be doing that uh, over here. Okay. And then you see this option subscription filter policy. So click on that. There is a toggle button which says subscription filter policy. Enable that. Now, what you want to do is uh, either you can apply that on the message attribute or the message body. I'm going to do that on the message body. Here is my message body. This is how it's going to come, right? So this is my rule. So I'm saying in the data, look for a field called type. If it matches to the word created, then fire my Lambda function, right? I want to basically do that. So in the message body, I'm going to paste this rule over here. Okay. And then I can click on create subscription. Now what has happened is basically we have a, a filter policy. So anytime that rule matches on the SNS, then and only then my Lambda functions are going to be fine. So back to my console over here. If we go back to the topic that is orders and we can publish a message. We can say test YouTube and over here uh, we're going to dump a sample payload. So since the type is created, which matches uh, in the rule that we have specified, I think it should fire the Lambda function. Okay. So we have successfully published a message. As you can see, the message has been published. Now let's go back to the Lambda function, go back. And here you can see we have uh, a log over here. And if I zoom in, uh, hopefully I should have a print statement over here. Here you can see test YouTube message payments type as created. Now this way, for example, uh, if there are updates, uh, for example, in case of order, right, you will have uh, order, you know, created, order failed, order in the pending state. So you can invoke different uh, consumers uh, or the Lambda function uh, based on these events. So you can add these filter uh, rules or policies on an SNS and then you can invoke your consumer. This was a short video which taught you about SNS uh, Lambda and how to filter out the events and, um, and basically based on those events you can now invoke your consumer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.